Hey guys, Nexi here. In the previous video, I show you how you can fix your auto level issues on the CR10S Pro by changing the sensor probe from capacity to inductive one. Now in this video, I will show you how you can upgrade your Z-axis and avoid alignment issues on your CR10S Pro or any other 3D printer that has dual lead screw. Stay tuned. Now, first of all, what is this Z alignment thing and why some 3D printers suffers from it? The Z alignment issue is when one side of the Z carriage is lower or higher than the other side. And even if you lever your printer correctly every time when the printing is finished and when you turn off your printer, Z stepping models lose power and they turn a bit and one side of the Z carriage sags on one side. This can really mess up your print level and you have to re-level your printer again before the next print, which is no fun. Now, not all 3D printers has this issue. Mostly large-scale 3D printers that has more weight on the Z carriage and dual lead screw suffers from this. The main cause of this Z misalignment is because of that extra weight that the Z axis carriage needs to support when the power is lost. And not only that, most of that weight is located on the left side of the Z carriage where X axis and extruder stepper motors are. And either the print head or the X carriage goes and parks there when the printing is finished. So the weight on the Z axis are not equally distributed and that's why one side of the Z axis can sag a bit when the stepper motors are switched off. Now how we can deal with this? First solution is that we can readjust the both side of the Z axis roller wheels by turning this eccentric spacer so that these adjusting wheels moves in and press against aluminum extrusion. Continue until none of these wheels are free to spin and test them with your fingers. This simple wheel adjustment will minimize your Z-axis alignment issue and possibly eliminate it completely. But if you still have problems with it and you want to make your Z-carriage even more secure, you will need to install two of these. These are anti-backlash spring-loaded nut for a treader rod lead screw. They cost around 2 US dollars and the idea behind this is that these two T8 nuts are being pushed against each other with this spring which is compressed between them and that's how they are able to hold the position on the threader rod without compromising the precision of the machine. Now to install them on the Z-axis lead screw it's a quite simple and it can be done on most 3D printers as well. Today I will show you how you can install them on my Creality CR10S Pro. Let's start first with the easier side, the right one. First you need to undo these two screws on the Z carriage bracket and then two more screws on the stepper coupler. After that just take out the T8 nut and slide up threader rod. Now compress anti-backlash nut and install it on the threader rod. Then reinstall the rod, push it back on the stepper coupler and tie up these two coupler screws. Now you will need two extra M3 nuts. Those M3 screws you can reuse. Use tweezers to compress the spring and place M3 screw underneath the backlash nut and let go the spring. Now install the spring washer and nuts with the tweezers. Tie up those screws just slightly, not too much. And again use tweezers to compress the spring. Place the M3 screws and then spring washer and nuts back in a place just like on the other side. And the right side is done. That was easy. Now the left side of the CR10S Pro is a bit harder. First you need to take off this metal cover. There are two screws up and one at the bottom. Next, take off these two screws that hold the board so we can have access to the lead screw. Now unscrew these two screws on the Z carriage bracket and these two on the coupler. After that, just slide up threader rod and take out the T-nut. Now, since there is not too much space for this round T8 nut to fit, you need to do slight modification and cut or fill one side of this T-nut because it will collide with the extruder step model. The good news is that these nuts are made of brass, so it's a pretty easy to cut or fill. Tied up copper screws and again use tweezers to compress the spring. Place them through screws and then spring washer and nuts back in a place, just like on the other side. Something like this will do the job. As long as it's not touching exterior stepper motor, 
it's all good. Now install two screws that hold the board. When you're done, reinstall the metal cover and it's over. Now check your new Z-axis stability. It feels much stable now and when you try to push it down by force, it stays in a place and it keeps its position and level much better than before. Even when printer is on and the stepper motors are disabled, Z-carriage will still hold its level in a place and the Z-stepper motors do not turn no more. They will stay in a position. This Z-axis upgrade with the anti-backlash TET nut it's my highly recommended upgrade for all large-scale 3D printers with a dual lead screw. It's a simple and cheap and it will make your 3D printer experience way better. Alright guys, I hope that you like this video and that you find it useful. Links of all parts that I use you can find in the video description. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.